Welcome back to the Whiskey Couch with me, Gustav Miller, as your host. Today's whiskey is the, uh, is the third in a three-part series covering the three Jameson deconstructed bottlings. And you can see them here in front of you. We've already, I've already reviewed the bold and the lively, and today I'm reviewing the Jameson round. Jameson round, but let's first talk about the Jameson. The Jameson brand has been around for almost 240 years, almost two and a half centuries. So it's been around, around for a very long time. Jameson whiskey is distilled at the Middleton Distillery in County Cork, Ireland, and it's owned by Irish Distillers Limited, part of the Pernod Ricard Group. According to the sales figures, every second of every day throughout the year globally, every second two Jameson whiskies are sold. So it's a huge brand and it's out there and it's available and it is literally everywhere. So what is the deconstructed range of Jameson all about? Let's see what the label says at the back of this Jameson round bottle. The Deconstructed series invites you to explore our taste with Jameson Original. So they've taken the Jameson Original. As our foundation, we've deconstructed its key characteristics and amplified each of them, resulting in three unique whiskies, which are these three, of course. It's everything you love about Jameson, only more of it. That sounds good. Jameson Round. Jameson Round's balanced complexity beautifully demonstrates how different cask types influence the final blend. Imagine stop stepping into one of our warehouses and let sweet vanilla, ripe spices and toasted wood engulf you. On the front it says Jameson Round, rich and ripe, with toasted wood tones balanced to perfection. So the bold, the Jameson Bold, focuses and amplifies the pot still component of Jameson Whiskey. The lively amplifies the grain component of Jameson Whiskey, and this one focuses on the wood cask maturation. Bottled at 40% ABV, alcohol by volume, this particular one, um, triple distilled, all three of them, like Jameson is, and the whole range uh, specifically for the travel retail market. It's a bit darker than the other two, so we've got an amber color. matured in virgin American oak and also ex-bourbon casks. There's a vanilla sweetness that, that almost explodes. But with that there is a coffee and there I agree with the packaging. There's a coffee note in the aroma as well. But the grain whiskey is there the toasted nuts and some dark chocolate in the aroma. Darker than the other two. This is a rich one. The richness of the wood. I'm quite impressed with this concept. Deconstructing and focusing on an element. I'm really impressed. It is quite an experience to touch, taste them each one by one. But I must say this might be my favorite. The sweet vanilla, the spices, there's a creamy fudge. Creamy fudge note. The coffee note is there like coffee chocolate and then dried fruits and the and the finish is is elegant it's quite long the finish 
it's slightly woody and slightly spicy. Mmm, but the fudginess and the chocolate and the mm, toasted nuts and a slight fruity component as well. I'm not going to add a few drops of water at 40% ABV alcohol. I'm not going to dilute it any further. It's already an elegant soft whiskey, easy drinking. And cost-wise, 700 South African Rand, around 42 pounds and 70 euros. What an experience. This is really a treat. If you want to pair this whiskey with a food snack, you can consider trying to connect with the vanilla fudge element in the flavor profile. But I have opted for a coffee chocolate. I got these malted puffs. So it's got a malt center and then a, a cappuccino white um, chocolate covering. So I'm going to try to connect with the chocolate component of the flavor profile. Let's see if that works. Even the, the pairing snack is elegant, soft, soft coffee, soft white chocolate, and then the multi center. Man, this is so exciting. It connects with that coffee flavor. It's, it just goes hand in hand, seamlessly, seamlessly. Four and a half out of five. This is the way to go if you ever have an opportunity to try this Jameson round. Fresh with that soft dried fruits coming through now in the end. What an experience. Excellent. Jameson, well done. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow with another whiskey review, whiskey tasting and whiskey and food pairing to come. Slanche.